Hello my special people. This is what I like to call post-workout sweaty flat gym hair. Yes. So today I thought we'd do a summer night routine because I haven't done a night routine in really long freaking time. So right now I'm about to take a shower. But this is my little shower that I am going to be leaving. I usually let the shower heat up for about like three minutes before I get in it. But guys, look at my new sunglasses. I got these from Marshalls yesterday for $10. They're Betsy Johnson. What? I don't look good right now, but these sunglasses are like covering it up, right? Right? Because <laughs> I seriously don't know how fitness gurus look so good after the gym. Like, this is how normal people look after the gym. Not like all cute. Okay, I need a shower. I also got this for like $5 from Marshalls. They're the turban hair towels. They're extra absorbent and microfiber, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they're just really gentle on your hair and I wanted to try some of these out because I usually use t-shirts to put up my hair. So I thought I would try these out and they were only $5, there's two of them in here. So let's do that. Like literally, like look at this girl's contour. Dang, dang girl. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to put one of these on my head. Says it's easy to use, but Duh. Uh, this is not how that's supposed to work. How does how does she it says simply twist, flip, and button? Okay, one second, my towel's falling off. Okay, simply twist, flip. Don't have any of my hair in here. Where's the buttons? Okay, this is a fail. This is a major fail. Why did I buy this? And my towel is falling off again. Oh my god. <laughs> this is where I'm at. This is so hard. So I was determined to make this work and after a million hours, I somewhat got it. Somewhat. There's still hair peeking out, but I somewhat got it so I'm really proud of myself. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what exactly I use in the shower. So like right when I get in the shower, I immediately apply this on dry hair. It's the L'Oreal Clay Mask, the pre-shampoo treatment. And it's basically basically just a clay mask that you apply directly to your roots so that it'll help, you know, purify your roots and so that it'll get rid of product buildup. So I use this first. Then for my shampoo, I use the Joyco Color Endure Shampoo. This is sulfate free. I also use the conditioner. This is sulfate free as well. I got these from Ulta when they had like their um big bottle sale. I don't know if that's what they call it, but there's a sale where all of these um like big bottles of shampoos and conditioners are on sale. So they're probably like $15 a piece. And then I also use for shampoo. This is the Giovanni Tea Tree Triple Threat invigorating shampoo and this is what I use when I really need to cleanse my hair because sometimes this shampoo can give me dandruff I think especially with my short hair so I'll use this you know like when I need a break from that so these are the two shampoos I use I literally just got this one off of Amazon so I'll link it down below when I have makeup on I didn't have makeup on today because I was just like running errands and stuff but if I do I'll use the Meisler foaming cleanser and I'll use this to take off like my makeup and just cleanse my face while I'm in the shower. I really like this. It's different than the like just normal micellar cleansing water, but it's basically the same idea. I really like this just for in the shower. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin is broken out really bad. I never usually break out this bad. So I thought I would do a mask today. I'm gonna use this PM mask. So this is the mask I'm gonna use. It's the Good Night. PM mask. I got this in an Ipsy bag, so I am gonna use this to just like hydrate my face and hopefully, you know, just bring some life back into it. This is quite possibly one of the scariest masks I've ever used on my face in my life. Like, what the hell is that? I don't really want to film myself like this anymore and scare you guys. You have to do something though when you are in a face mask. So I'm gonna watch Friends. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so a little update. <laughs> I realized that you're supposed to take off this. So I took it off and I now I look a lot less scary. Thank God. But I still look really scary. But I really thought that that was weird if I had to leave this on. But I didn't. I'm just not the smartest.
that's the only thing we do. They don't want the bad publicity. And then after I'm done, I just like rub all that like serum into my face and down my neck. And then I take whatever is left in the packaging and I do the same as well. Like I'll put it all over my face and just rub it in so that I can glow. Yes. I always use this Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Like right after the shower, I really need to try to concentrate it like on my knees and elbows where I get like really dry. So yeah, it's really important to use lotion every day, people, because we need to protect wrinkles and not only from our face, but also on our body. Yes, we do. Okay, these are my super cute pajamas. I love them so much. They are black with like this light pink trim from Target and the brand is Dilden O'Malley And yes, if you're wondering my sheets are off on the shelf, please do not judge me So yeah for work tomorrow, I'm definitely So yeah for work tomorrow, I'm planning on wearing these pants from Zara. I just got these I think they were like $12 um, This past weekend and they're just like this orangey rust color and obviously I got to really stain these bad boys like they are wrinkled as hell So I'm definitely gonna wear these. They're just super like fashion forward I feel like this color is super in right now. So I love that and it's a great seasonal Transition color into fall as well. So with it I'm gonna wear this leopard print scarf that I just got from Zara. It has red outlines and uh, White polka dots on black and I'm gonna wear a white v-neck with the pants So I figured I'll just tie this around my neck you could also do this in your hair if you're looking for more style ideas, but yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this one. I love it. It's super chic. So for shoes, I'm gonna wear these new mules. I just got from DSW. They are Jessica Simpson, and I'm absolutely in love with the embroidery on these mules dies. Like, they tie in so many different colors. I really think the rest color on my pants will really tie into a ton of these colors on the shoes. I just love the embroidery so much, and I think these mules will be so versatile for, like, really any outfit because they tie in like orange green pink red yellow so i think these will just be like a great transitional shoe for the fall because they have a lot of fall colors but they're still like really fresh and summer like so i love these and i'm so out of breath because i'm leaning over i'm so sorry so yeah planning my outfits the night before is super important because let's face it i am dead ass tired in the morning and i really don't want to be like planning an outfit because usually when I go to work and I didn't have my outfit planned for that day it just looks like crap so yeah I really try to plan it out plan them out the night before it's just easier it's annoying to do at night as well but it's just like okay when would I rather do it before I go to bed when I have lots of energy or when I wake up in the morning and have zero so now I'm just gonna do a very rough diffusing in my hair my hair isn't completely dry but what regardless whether or not like my hair was completely dry or not so I'm going to just be doing a very rough diffusing in my hair nothing pretty I'm not trying to like make it into like a look I'm just trying to like blow dry my hair without like actually using a brush so didn't do that now I'm not gonna show you guys probably because yeah you guys know how to blow dry your hair most likely and it's really loud so probably not gonna do that and I continue to use these two products every day, the It Confidence Inner Cream, and this is the Bare Minerals Stin Longevity. I put this all over my face and let it sit for about like 30 seconds, and then I'll apply this right over it, and I also apply this onto my neck. I've had this since Christmas, and it's still going strong, so I love this stuff. And this stuff I use two pumps of as well. I bring this down to my neck too. So I really like to keep the stint hair simple and yeah. Just really simple products so that it's really easy to do every day. And then a thousand times I have to literally like keep turning this to the left and make sure that my door is indeed locked, which it is. And it's so dirty, ew, oh my gosh. And I'm giving blood tomorrow, people, so we got to stay hydrated. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end this routine here because I am dead tired and I really need to get some sleep. Um, I don't know why blow drying my hair just always just knots everything out of me and I'm always so tired after blow drying my hair. It's the weirdest thing ever. But yeah, if you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I would really, really appreciate it. And make sure you leave me a comment letting me know uh, if you subscribed so that I can thank you and we can chat a little bit more and be friends. Um, but yeah, I also apologize. This video is a couple days late. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm a mess. But yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video, and I hope you guys all have a great night. Okay, bye guys. Bye. <laughs> I'm so awkward. I hate myself.